after my regular uh, routine uh, visit to the Kanpur club, after my exercise, I sat in the library and uh, started looking at the magazine rack. And I picked up a magazine, Time magazine. And the third article was very interesting, written by Mr. Jack Welsh. Now, this guy is one of the uh, uh, world's best baseball player. And he writes in that when he was a kid, he he learned this baseball at that very young stage of uh, uh, of his life. And when he was uh, making his team, he used to ensure that he uh, picked up the best ones. As he grew older, he continued this practice, and his team always continued to improve and win the games for him and now he says he writes that they're putting guys in the right field in the right place is the key for winning matches and he kept he learned this trait and he applied in all his matches he always picked up the best players and he always uh, most of the time he won the his team won the game now, my friend, what I've been talking these days, I feel that this principle is very, very, uh, uh, it can be applied. Even now, uh, uh, to all our uh, preachings of self-improvement or the HR world, as one goes through the life, contemplating the mechanics of success and wondering why some people are successful and others are not you will find that this one of the uh, definite traits of a habitual winner is picking up the right guy, selecting the best person. This can be applied in every profession, in every aspect of life, where a team is required to work. They always stuck the deck in the favor and they are unpassionate about it they do this when they hire the best candidates for a job when they settle for an almost the best tie my friend this is what the right or the exact job of job of any HR they do this when they pay or any top official CEO, they will always pick the best person. They don't mind paying him. They do this when they pay. Whatever it takes to retain such employees, such co-workers who are good. Rather than lose such people, him or her uh, in the competition. They do this when they are fully prepared for recognition rather than winging it. If you study my friend more closely the successful people you will discover that their stories are not so much about overcoming enormous obstacles and handicap but rather about avoiding high risks low reward situations and doing everything in their power to increase the odds in their favor for example have you ever wondered why the most successful people at the top of of your uh, uh, organization tend to have the best personal assistant all PAs and the answer is very simple the successful executives know that a great assistant can shield them from the uh, dozens of the daily annoyances that would otherwise distract them for doing their real job if you think that all the top executives have top assistants 
because of luck rather than design i think you need a few more lessons in uh, uh, stacking the deck in your favor no they are deliberately chosen i remember in one of the field formations i was posted all the uh, there was a guy called enbu from a supply acps they are supposed to be the best trained all the generals and all the uh, senior officers they try they used to try it before they get posted to commanding position that they should they have anbu with them only why because he was so perfect that the uh, top men had needn't bother about the all minor uh, pin pricks which he used to handle himself uh, so well and the uh, general was left for more serious businesses my friend the winning strategy is so obvious to successful people i feel almost uh, sheepish mentoring it if as if it will elicit a chorus of dust from the readers or from the audiences but it's amazing how some people go out of their way to unstack the deck against themselves when you're taking when you're talking about interpersonal behavior my friend people people's common sense gets fuzzy and opaque they lost sight of their uh, true mission in life they have trouble identifying accepting the behavior that's holding them holding them back they don't know how to choose a, a a strategy to fix the problem simple and they often pick the wrong things to fix exactly a wrong person for a wrong job in other words they stack the deck against themselves there are certain rules my friend if anybody follows those uh, rules they will never miss out on picking up the best person for the uh, job they are seeking for and uh, these rules will help you, uh, everyone it will help you better handle the process of change if you obey them you will be uh, i would say stacking the deck in your favor so tomorrow onwards each day i will talk about one rule to see that you always pick the best Thank you very much.